Okay, hey, my name is uh, Michael Barrett. I'm a medical doctor and an astronaut at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. So my educational background is that I went to uh, the University of Washington and I did an undergrad degree in zoology, which is actually a kind of a marine zoology looking at uh, life in the ocean. I then went to medical school at uh, Northwestern in Chicago and I followed that up with four years of internal medicine training and then two more years of aerospace medicine training. So I'm a trained aerospace medicine specialist and aerospace physiologist. Well, I did a lot of work uh, trying to work my way through college, both during uh, high school and college, and that included everything from working in a paper mill, uh, in a steam plant in the paper mill, which was a real gnarly, dirty job, but uh, made good money for college, to working in a fish cannery on Kodiak Island, uh, Alaska, during the summer to make my way through school. And then I had other, a little bit more pleasant jobs in laboratories and uh, uh, working in hospitals during my medical training before I ended up where I am now. To middle school students, I would say that, uh, first of all, math and science is really important, number one. Number two, you can do it. A lot of you think you can't, uh, but it's just like everything else. If you work at it, you don't have to be a genius. You just have to be a hard worker, and you have to be determined you can do it. The other thing I would say is just find something you really, really love, because you want to get good at something, and you can only get really good at something if you really love it. So find that thing that sparks your interest and just pursue it really hard. To master something takes one word, and that is work. And a lot of people, they think astronauts are geniuses, and, and I'm here to tell you they're not. Uh, they're, you don't have to be an Einstein to do our job, but what you do need is a sense of determination and hard work. And there is nothing that I know or that any of my colleagues know uh, that they didn't know only because of determination and hard, hard work. And so if you wanna do something, don't, don't think you're not smart enough, just think that you really have to work for it and, and you can get it. I think it's true that every success is preceded by a whole bunch of failures because you, you have to learn what doesn't work and you have to learn how to recover from a failure. Some of those you have control over because you screwed up and some someone else screwed up and some just Life doesn't go that way, and so failure is just part of the road to get anywhere that's, that's exciting. And so learning to recover from those failures, everything from failing a test because you didn't prepare enough, to having to change your plans because a piece of laboratory equipment just decided to, to toast and smoke before you, uh, you just have to know how to pick up and go on and, uh, and retool. So learning to fail is almost as important as learning to succeed.